what is going on my beautiful babes it is your girl kiana and welcome back to another video all right so we're gonna keep this party going with our summer fragrances so this episode is more or less related to perfumes if you missed my last video that was focused more on fine fragrance mist that i enjoy wearing but i want to put a disclaimer out there because the same that applied in the fragrance mist applies for my perfumes i am not a fan of wearing thick syrupy sweet fragrances for the summer months i like soft friendly pleasant fragrances nothing too offensive in your face i don't need to go beast mode in the summer it is hot as hell in georgia and babes i don't need to add to it i just want to be nice carefree and airy and light that is what i am focused on so that is what my fragrances will be geared towards okay so just to kind of put that out there However, I do want to say a special shout out to all of my supporters. I really appreciate you guys. My newbies, thank you all for subscribing. I am so happy to have you here. If you've never seen me before, hey girl, hey, I am Kiana. I love all things fragrance related, babes. I even throw in vlogs here and there because after all, I would love for you to get to know me outside of my fragrances. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's dive right on into it. Okay, so coming in strong, first category, fun and flirty. Kiali's Yum Gelato Spastachio. Now, in this fragrance, for me, what really shines through because Kiali has a ton of notes in every last one of their fragrances. Why? Because they make magic, okay? They make magic in the studio. <laughs> so, in this fragrance, I'm just going to tell you what really comes through for me. I get a lot of the bergamot in the initial blast along with pistachio and hazelnut. And going into the mid, you definitely get geranium for me, which adds an ever so slightly floral note. And then in the base, girl, in the base is where it happens for me, okay? So you get a little bit of whipped cream, there's a little bit of tonka, there's cotton candy. All of this kind of pulls together for me and makes a nice key lime pie where she describes as gelato. But babe, regardless of what we say, this is a very, very delicious fragrance and prepare, prepare to be eaten like a snack when you wear this. Fun and flirty. You can wear her anywhere. You want to grab lunch in a day movie? This is it. You want to go to Top Golf? This is it. But regardless of the fact, you are going to romance those nostrils. <laughs> I love this fragrance. I ended up getting this in a travel size. I blew through that fragrance so quickly. I had to go back and pick up the 50 mil. And what is perfect about Kaylee's fragrances, guys, is that with time, this fragrance only gets better and better and better. Highly, highly recommend this one. Perfect for summer. Perfect. Okay, so this next one, staying with Kaylee, is Kaylee's Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. Again, with the packaging, she does such an amazing job with this packaging. Mona, absolutely love this packaging. So in this fragrance, this again is another fun and flirty fragrance. I wore this fragrance when I went out of town and babe it was in the scorching heat but i can tell you that this is one of those fragrances that sneaks up on someone and what i mean by that is as you're speaking to them it's like it starts to kind of envelop them it, it, it really does to the point where they say you smell so good. I've been sitting here trying to figure out what that smell is, but you are smelling so nice. And you're like, girl, thank you. What are you wearing, Kaylee? That was me when we were in Gatlinburg, girl. I had this fragrance on, and that was me when we were in Gatlinburg. And who does not love to get those compliments? Who doesn't? But anywho, in this fragrance, to me, this is one of those fragrances where I am not gonna lie, Vanilla 28 to me is playing peekaboo just a little bit, but I get a good bit of the candy pear and I love sweet pear notes, I really do. So you get that in this fragrance. You also get a little bit of Tonka Bee, caramel, oh, the caramel. 
while caramel sometimes can be sticky it is not in this fragrance and it is so so nice guys mm. and another note that you get that is so so nice is the bubble gum note it's giving bubble yum so i highly highly recommend if you're looking for something super fun and flirty i would highly recommend vanilla candy rock sugar clean girl i only have one for this category but one is all you need especially this one that is Killian's Roses on Ice Girls. Now this is more on the pricier side, but I love this fragrance. I never have a problem investing in my fragrances, hun. I like to invest in me. <laughs> so this fragrance is one that my husband actually picked up when he was in the Atlanta airport because he knew his boo was gonna love this, okay? In this fragrance, three simple notes. It's probably more than that, but what I get from this is juniper berries, roses, and cucumber. That's right, cucumber. It gives it a nice watery, aquatic type feel. The juniper berries adds a little bit of woodiness to it, but what I really like is the roses. It is not a sweet rose. It is like a true rose fragrance. And maybe when I tell you it's like clean linen, when you smell this fragrance, it literally makes you think of clean linen not linen as in laundry sis but linen as in a nice clean sleek white dress linen and you throw this on top babes grab you a nice pair of sunnies and you go this is amazing i love it you don't get too much of the cucumber in it i think it is beautifully blended and you just got to give it a try and get your nose on it, girl. You got to give it a try. Again, on the pricier side, but in my opinion, well worth it. I get from this fragrance probably about a good six hours wear out of it. That's all I need in the summer, huh? Because I don't plan to be out there in that hot ass heat all day. When it starts to get around, I would say about the five to six hour mark, it kind of wears down to a nice, soft, light skin scent. And I'm okay with that. I'm digging it. Highly, highly recommend this one. Again, roses on ice, girl. So the next category is soft, classy, but sexy at the same damn time, okay? I thought about this fragrance. This is newer to my collection. When I got this fragrance, I was blown away. And I just knew I had to share it with you guys because I have not seen many people review this, but hun, I don't know why we're sleeping. Maybe I just happened to miss the reviews. But when I say that Michael Malone, Vanilla and Creme, oh my gosh, does this fragrance smell so nice, so pretty, perfect for soft girl era, soft, sleek, sexy, all at the same damn time perfect for this category. You get a nice blend of pear. There's grapefruit in this fragrance. You also get rose in this fragrance along with a bit of jasmine. But baby, the star is in the dry down with the caramel and the vanilla, hun. The caramel and the vanilla, they play together so well in this fragrance. It's just a match made in heaven. Don't be afraid of the pink grapefruit. You definitely get the grapefruit note upon initial blast, but with the balance of sweet jasmine with a watery rose, it is so beautifully done, guys, with that vanilla and that caramel waiting on you in the end. Michael Malone, vanilla and creme. Highly, highly recommend this fragrance. Okay, so on to my last fragrance. And I had to save the best for last because, babe, this fragrance and I, we are a match made in heaven. We shall never part. Babe, I love her. She my everything. Let me stop, girl. I really hate that song. Girl, do y'all like that song? Girl. <laughs> Sexy Red can have several seats for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but moving on, we get distracted, okay? Ruby Orchid Flower Bomb by Victor and Roth. I know, I know, y'all are tired of seeing me share this fragrance, but girl, I am going to share with you what I love, what I know to be true, and what I know to be true about this fragrance is she is everything and everyone around you would appreciate her smell. There has not been a time 
where I have worn this fragrance that I did not get complimented. I always get a compliment when I wear this fragrance because the peach, the ruby orchid, and the vanilla, they are noting in this fragrance. It is a sensual, sweet, sexy, flirty fragrance all wrapped into one. It's not much I can say about this fragrance except, girl, you have to try it. This is my signature scent. I damn near have to pry my hands off this fragrance and say, girl, try something else. Do something else. But I just keep going back. But babes, I'm going to have to do it because your girl is getting all the way down to the bottom. And it is not cheap to go get that 3.4, hun. It is not cheap. But when I tell you it's coins well spent, babes, get your nose on it. And I promise you, I promise you, the magic in that spray, you're going to come back and tell me, Key, you was right, girl. Girl, you right. So I definitely, definitely, 20 out of 20, 100 out of 100, recommend this fragrance. Again, Flower Bomb, Ruby Orchid, Victor and Roth. Throw this in your bag, girl. Throw this in your bag. I'm not going to tell you something you don't need. This one is a hitter. This one is a keeper. Okay. <laughs> okay, baby. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed my summer fragrance selection. Let me know in the comments, what are you grabbing for these days? Share with your friend, girl. Hopefully I can get my hands on some of your recommendations if I don't already own those fragrances. Until next time, guys. Peace out.